Hello friends, in this video tutorial section, we saw how we can create multiple models to predict the diabetes and compare those models. So now it is time to compare our results with the published article. I am not going to compare each and every line, but I want you to understand that in that article, can we see every single table in our orange workspace? So let's quickly have a look at the tables from the article. So as you can see, first one was data set attribute. Can you recall from where can we see this table? It is there in the file section. We see all the 17 classes here, the type and the values. So these are the attributes with their properties. The next table that shows the ranked attributes and the information ratio with the focus on three polyurea, polydipsia and gender that has the highest information ratio. Can you recall from where can, can we get that table? We can see that in rank visit, we see information gain and information ratio. All the 16 attributes are there. If I go into next table, it is the confusion matrix of nerve bias classification. Similarly, table 4 is the confusion matrix for neural network classification, 5 is for ADA boost, 6 is for KNN, 7 is for random forest, 8 is for SVM classification. So all these tables that we can see from confusion matrix and we can select any of the desired model to get the confusion matrix. Table 9 shows the result of classification algorithm. For example, naive bias is 86.92% correct. We can see this data in test and score and we can see accuracy. Here it is showing as 0.869. So if we convert it into the percentage, it is 86.9. Let us check another one. Neural network 98.08%. Here it is neural network. In our case, it came out to be 97.5%. Similarly, we can also check the other classifiers. The last table, it shows the evaluation matrix of all six properties such as area under curve, classification accuracy, F1 score, precision, sensitivity and specificity. So all this we can see from test and score. All six models are there and the properties are shown. That is how we get our output. Now if we want to create a conclusion for our study, we can have a look at this article again. So as this article also suggests, how do we write the conclusion? In this study, we applied classification methodologies. We can use all six names of the machine learning algorithm. It mentions that all the models had an accuracy of more than 86%. The author also mentioned that it used normalization on the public data set and it also mentions the best model that performed amongst all the six and the, its accuracy percentage. So that's how we conclude this particular article. So with this, I wrap up this section. I hope you learned something new. If you are new to AI world and didn't know any programming, I hope this put you at an ease that you can also create your own model without even knowing the programming. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. I would be happy to help.